Okay, so next job is to fit an expansion tank. And yes, I bought the expensive one and I don't like the look of it. Hang on a minute. Right, so I've had a few disasters recently, as is my bike building way. Um, I bought that, which was a kit off of eBay, expansion tank kit. Um, it was, it is a sealed bottle. So any water would add pressure in here and there was no escape for it. So it's actually no good as an expansion tank. So if you see these on eBay, know that you're gonna to need to modify them. Um, so I draw a hole in the top for the pipe to come out as an overflow and all the rest of it. But I just don't like the look of it. It's too boring. So I've dropped that idea in favor of good old Spider-Man. So that's what I'm going with. I did it on the 600, I'm gonna do it on this one. There you go, good old Spider-Man, and he will be sitting there. The only bit with this other kit is I get to use the bracket. <laughs> and the only bit I want is the solid bit through the middle. I don't need these holes. I'm gonna do my own, which means again, I can shape it down and clear it up a bit because the expansion bottle will be held on by a P-clip. Um, this will go to the fan bolt on the radiator and then this will screw to it. Ultimately, brilliant idea, thank you very much. Um, other expansion bottle, probably never get used, but as in probably every shed or garage indeed of the land, it will be left in some dark, dank corner and only thrown away just before it's needed. So there you go, this bracket has actually cost me 26 quid. <laughs> Don't tell the missus though, she's going mad. I think you can get aluminium brackets cheaper than that. But we won't go there. Let's say the um, one of, the, well, another deciding factor was my light setup. <laughs> After I did loads of wheelies, I snapped it off. <laughs> so now I'm getting a new light, which means the ignition's gone down here, or will go down here, once the paint dries on it. We'll sit there, um, and the new light will go further back, because it's only sort of that thickness, about three and a quarter inches, I think. So it'll sit further back. These, these will be stronger. I'm hoping to make that out of 16 or 20 mil steel i just don't know whether i've got the heat supply to bend it yet um but that's another story anyway as i say that that was where the um ebay expansion tank was going to go but the ignition is there now Yeah, as I say, the, the ignition is going that side now, so there's no room for it anyway. Um, and the Spider-Man one fits in rather nicely this side. So long as I don't mess the radiator up, taking out and putting back in the um, bolt that holds the fan on. So, as I say, all I need is this solid bit through the middle, which I'll drill two holes in where I want them, um, which will be closer to the actual edge here and I can get rid of all of this. So that's what I was in the process of doing, just chopping the bits I don't need. And the last time I went to move it, it was extremely hot, so I'm gonna be a bit more adult about it this time. So I don't need them bits. Just need that bit, which needs a little bit of trimming, actually, because this edge, edge will be on show. Uh, 
That's better. Right, so I need to make a hole for the, the fan housing. So this is my bolt for hanging it on there. Quite still hot. That's still hot. I said aluminium dissipates heat quickly. Is that not a 10? It looks like a 10, it is a 10. This is where all the water falls out of the radiator and I start crying. Got an emotional sort of chap. So yes, that will fit in there. And then this will be drilled to accept the P-clip. So first of all, I need to drill this out. So a hole about there and chop that end bit off. Sounds good. So, the bottle's on. Spider-Man's got a headband. <laughs> um, that's the bracketry. As I say, it went to the, the bolt that holds the fan housing on, or the fan on. Um, and then I've stuck a five mil marine grade bolt through that. And it was just touching this pipe. So I've snuck a cable tie around it to stop it chafing the pipe but it's pretty bloody solid on there uh, the next part is obviously to take well obviously not obviously is to take the the old one off so I'm using one of these old Contagnas to drain it down This might be a mess. Especially when you do that. Right now, tank up and pull the old tube through.
Right, so that's the pipe out. So what I need is a length of this to go in the bottle, right the way to the bottom, and then fill the bottle to about here with um, antifreeze, and then also a overflow pipe coming out the back and probably just going down. Might follow that down actually. And stick it out through there. Or just there, and that'll do, and it just perhaps cable tight down here or something. But yeah, the first thing is to get that in there and down at the bottom. So I want enough to go in the top without kinking it and down at the bottom. So I'll cut it off down here. And what I do is I cut it at an angle and then when it hits the bottom you know you've still got all this that is for sucking and blowing the fluid well, it's all under pressure um, to get that out So, yes, need to cut a couple of holes in the lid. Right, first of all, measure the pipe because we want a good tight fit. There's nine and a half. It's just over nine, so I'll go with a nine mil drill and then if the worst comes the worst, I'll go nine and a half. So what I need is two holes in the top for the two pipes and the easiest way of doing that is to come up from the bottom the easiest way I've found anyway I've done it all before done it all before and I <laughs> another success story um, so yeah two nine mil holes and then we see if we can force the pipe in there if not I'll go up to as I say nine and a half mil and see how that is and I'll go straight in with a nine. Nine mil, because it's only plastic. It's only plastic, it'll be all right. It'll be all right, and if it ain't all right, I've got some more tops. I've got some spare tops. Make sure I get all the swarf out, because I don't want that. Traveling around my cooling system. Very nice fit indeed. Yes. It's very good. It's very good. Right, so that's Good. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. What the fuck is that point now? There it is. That's my feet. So this one only wants to go just in the top. And then it wants to feed Not onto the brakes. Don't want to feed onto the brakes. Something like that. First of all, I want to take the pipes out and get some coolant in there. Right, just tip the bit in there. Let's see how much we've got. Some 
to there. Oh, a bit more really. Thing is I haven't got any of the green left so I don't know whether you're allowed to mix it or not but having a bit of blue. That's better. That's ideal. Right. And it's not just for overflow purposes, the other pipe. There you go. That's solid. That's Dan. Yeah, it's not just for overflow purposes. It's also, obviously, the the hot water from my radiator will push, when it's too hot, it'll open the cap, push water through into this bottle, and the air that's in this bottle needs to go somewhere. That's what I say about that eBay one. It was sealed, so the, the air had nowhere to go, and the, the bottle itself was very tough aluminium, so it would be your pipe that went, or you wouldn't release the pressure, so something else on your system would go. So, yeah, as I say, if, you, if you're gonna buy one of them, Personally, I'd say you've got a cut hole in it to allow for the expansion. And then all that wants to do is just tuck in there a bit. Because it's just to let the air out. And then I'll have it down. Drip it off the bottom of the... What do you reckon? Drip it off the bottom of the radiator? That'll do, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably cut, <laughs> cut, the, cut the hook out of it. <laughs> don't want to catch hold of curb stones or something as I'm driving down the road. Yeah. I think a bit lower than the red. That'll do. I mean, usually you can see that they're here. Um, when it came out of the header tank it was only just down the side of the engine so the chance of it getting on your back tyre are slim but there is a chance and again to have it there it's a slim chance which is good enough just want to put some cable ties on that on that pipe there at the top here and down the bottom and then that is done so yeah that's Let's try for the most awkward spot to get a cable tie, that'd be good. As ideas go, I don't think that's the best. <laughs> I'll use some bigger ones. <laughs> Alright, let's try that fattery again. No, it's just to hold the pipe. We don't want to do it too tight or else it will crush the pipe. And we don't want it to crush the pipe. We certainly don't want it to crush the pipe that it's connected to. Because that's an important pipe. There. There we go. One finished expansion tank fitment. I'm expecting to lose a little bit of fluid because this pipe now is empty down to wherever the level is. So when it first pushes out, it needs to fill the pipe. So I will lose a little bit. So on the first run, if this is below the cap down here, am I right with that? And there's no drips down here obviously that will be okay right so all i've got to do now is have a bit of a tidy up there you go one expansion tank gotta do some quality work 